Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. First day of team of the season so far, Bundesliga, SBCs, juiced players, and objectives. I'm gonna talk about all that today in this video. Talk about the players, the uh, prices of these players, and the SBCs. Kind of just talk you guys through the content for today and some stuff that we might see um, on Saturday today. Which is, by the way, like the first day that the Bundesliga is actually coming back. There are Bundesliga games today, which is great timing for EA to drop this Bundesliga. While some of these guys are going to have games. Uh, side note of that, just thinking about that right now. One thing you might want to watch today, uh, and, and I don't know if this really applies to a lot of the squads, but I know Dortmund is playing today, right? Like a Thomas Delaney. Headliners card, live item. These cards, EA said, are specifically not going to be, be updated until... Uh, team of the weeks resume but uh, this guy's down a bunch today because of the the Witzel SBC that came out today the Witzel SBC is very cheap and it is good value and that's why this card is down a lot but uh, I would not be surprised if you saw a guy like this Delaney uh, on Saturday today let's say Delaney has a great game for some reason uh, he plays and he scores a couple goals or something crazy like that like he could have an in for him uh, I would not be surprised if you see some of these headliners from the Bundesliga if they are playing move up in price. So that's just something to watch. And, and I haven't heard anybody say anything about that. That's just something to think about because Bundesliga is back in action. Technically, those cards are not live items yet. EA said that they're going to wait for those. Um, but uh, that's just something to look for. Anyways, Bundesliga, the team of the season. I want to talk about some of these cards uh, and some of the stat boosts. We have three amazing strikers in this team. Werner, Halan, and Lewandowski. These guys are incredibly juiced with statistically halan got the four star weak foot um boost so now he has four star weak foot instead of a three star weak foot and this guy is dropping a lot right now a lot of the the supply on these guys is really really crazy and different between each of the cards i tried to flip some halans today i bought uh seven or uh, six or seven halans i really went like all in at like 1.3 high to 1.4 mil on most of them uh, and I've sold, luckily, almost all of them around like the 1-4 range. So I lost basically tax on like six or seven cards. So I'm, I'm losing a couple hundred thousand coins. But um, it's just the, the, the tale of two stories with some of these cards. A lot of them are, some of them are dropping right now into the late night. Uh, and then some of them are still high. Timo Werner during lightning rounds today was 1.4 million coins. 1.42 and he boomed on the PlayStation back up to 1.6. I saw multiple of these selling at even 1.7 mil. Again, it's all about the supply. If you go on and we look at these cards uh, particularly, we will you will see when I look at these that these Lewandowski and Werner in particular do not have a lot of supply, and the other cards do. Lewandowski was 2.8 million during the first lighting round. He rebounded to 3.3, 3.4. He's now back up to 3.1. I would expect a card kind of like this Lewandowski to act similar to KDB, from the Premier League team of the season. Um, but that's one thing that I do want to talk about today is just some of these cards, some of their supply, and some of the hyped up ones that a lot of you guys might have questions about. Alfonso Davies is a really, really big one. This Alfonso Davies guy right now is extinct on the market. I think at 540K, is that his price range? Alfonso Davies, 550,000 coins is extinct. I'm not sure how I feel about this card because yes, it is a good looking card. He's got the hype. He has the SBC. It was very, very good earlier this year. Four star, four star, left back in the Bundesliga. This guy is really, really good, but uh, is he really worth 550,000 coins? Outside backs this year in FIFA are so, so cheap. I mean, if we look back at uh, Premier League team of the season, Trent Alexander Arnold, 300K. Robertson, 230,000 coins. Wan Bissaka, 265,000 coins. These guys are stupid cheap. Uh, and I don't think that's going to change with this Davies card. I feel like this Davies card is going to stay uh, or is going to drop down out of packs if he's extinct. So if you're sniping this guy when he's extinct, try to catch him on the price range update because he's on Xbox already at 528. I feel like this guy is definitely going to go down like the most of this team. I do feel like a lot of this team, especially some of the OP cards, is going to continue falling down in price. As we go out to the weekend, right? It's kind of normal. And it seems crazy that this Halan card is 1.3 million coins with these stats. But it just goes to show that as we have had more and more team of the seasons come out in FIFA with more and more special cards, uh, people just keep transitioning to the new set of cards. And it's just like a new team of the season striker uh, comes out every week. And it just draws attention away from the old TOTS cards. 
which does actually end up making them drop. Suarez right now is maintaining a decent, you know, he's up a little bit from where he was in the week. Some of the La Liga cards rose a bit today. Carvajal Hall was one that I was fond of all week. He stayed pretty high. Uh, I think right now he's like 350,000 coins. But if you have any of these TOTS cards from La Liga that have gone up or stayed up uh, after rewards, you know, on this Saturday morning, I would consider taking the coins on a lot of these because, again, everybody wants to try the new cards that come out every week. And it's if you look at the Prem Team of the Season cards right now, uh, you know, Van Dyke is down a million coins from where he was two weeks ago. Seriously, Van Dyke is under 2 million coins right now. He was 2.9. This man was literally 2.9 million coins uh, last week, during or two weeks ago, on the Friday of Premier League Team of the Season, and even the Friday of La Liga Team of the Season, and this guy is down basically a million coins in price, which is wild. It is wild to see a drop like that on one of the best center backs in the game, but that's just what happens. You have the, the Militao SBC and three crazy other center backs that came out during La Liga Tots. Uh, that have drawn a lot of the prices down. So a lot of you guys are asking me too, why are my team of the seasons from the Prem and from the uh, La Liga still dropping? Like, why, why aren't these guys going up? It's just it's just because every single week, a new team of the season comes out with boosted stats and uh, people are losing coins every week on this game because of the repeatable upgrade packs that everybody is basically just like addicted to. They want to do during the midweek. So that's why you're seeing a lot of prices continue to go down on the out of packs team of the season cards. And it's just... The way that EA is supplying them on the market as well is really making them uh, lose their price. This is, again, I, I say it all the time, FIFA 20 is the year of supply, and we're seeing right now that so much supply on these Team of the Year cards, or Team of the Season cards, is, wow, Lewandowski is back down to 3 million coins, man. This guy literally, during landing rounds, was 2.8. He went back up to 3.4. I watched one sell at 3.3, 3.4 mil, and now he's back down to three mil under three mil that's crazy man but you can tell that like a 99 Lewandowski card how much supply did this guy have right now on the market this guy has uh four three three pages of supply four pages of supply on a 99 rated card a lot of times on a 99 rated Ronaldo or Messi first day of the promo you're lucky if there's one page but it's team this season and uh EA definitely hypes up the pack weight and adds a lot of pack weight to these cards one guy that I'm really, really interested with is this Erling Holland. I told you that I lost coins on him earlier today, which I did. Um, but that's not gonna that's not gonna deter me from keeping close tabs on this card. He is down a lot. Uh, he's down seriously, bro. 1.26, 1.25 5 million coins. This guy. I mean, I was buying this guy for 145 earlier today. Uh, and I was able to get them out right around 1.4 mil, most of them on my transfer list. But this guy continues to drop. He has tons of supply, but this card looks ridiculous. He gets the four-star weak foot upgrade. He's going to have a lot of hype this week. I do think this card is going to be in for a rebound, but uh, he just has a crazy amount of supply um, today on the market. So that's enough talking about the players for right now. I mean, if we go over with the rest of the squad, you know, we, we do have... We do have some really highlight players. Again, we have Lewandowski, Halan, Sancho looks cool. Sancho also has a lot of supply, like Halan does. Royce looks cool. Uh, Muller's card actually looks really good. Again, we have three center attacking mids that are, you know, German, Bundesliga, with almost all the same stats. Royce, Muller, and Havertz are basically the exact same card uh, in this game, which is kind of crazy, I feel like, just to have three of the exact same card. We have three of almost the exact same card with Halan, Lewandowski, and Werner as well. They just kind of have different body types, but they're all uh, super juice strikers. So I find that kind of interesting. The rest of the team, though, to be honest, um, Kimmich is cool. You know, yeah, that's a decent card. Hakimi is nice. Davies is cool. Upmakano and Nabry. And the rest of the team, other than that, is just kind of okay, right? We have a 94 rated summer for 88K already. We've got Ginter, Hideki, Nider, Lechner. Serdar and Hinterreger and those guys man they just they just don't bring the hype I feel like this team for me doesn't do it as much as La Liga did and it's certainly not up to par with the Premier League team of the season either so uh, maybe a little bit of a disappointment to some people uh, but there are going to be some cool cards people want to get in their teams this week on foot with the Bundesliga team of the season because I mean there's so the Bundesliga is like right behind the Premier League in like the, number, the amount of content that EA drops but per league this year, you know, it's like Prem gets the most hype in the sees, 
And I would say Bundesliga is like next second next to the Prem. So I would like to see, I, I do think there's going to be some more hype with these cars later on in the week, uh, but it's going to really revolve around like the key players that I talked about. And the, a lot of those other guys are going to fall by the wayside. You know, the guys that you really don't want. Anyways, uh, some of the reason why the center defensive mids, center mids, uh, in this game or down today is because this Vitzel card came out very very good value SBC Really nice looking card cool dynamic image four star four star medium high if you have a Bundesliga squad I mean, I think this is your dude I think it's like a 84 and 85 rated squad is really not that expensive at all I think it's like 120 130,000 coin SBC, which is very very nice um, not expensive at all if you need a Bundesliga CDM, you know, you can maybe rock him and Goretzka together if you're doing like a you know, um, a Bundesliga, full Bundesliga team, or if you need some links in there. I mean, I'm probably going to end up crafting this Witzel card. It has three days remaining. I'll probably craft them during upgrade packs uh, at some point. But that was our SBC content for today. Then objective content, we had Sabitzer, uh, who was the only one worth doing, in my opinion. This guy, I mean, this card is, it's got a two-star weak foot. No thanks. That's a yikes for me, unless you're going to do it for fodder. But this Sabitzer card doesn't look too terrible. Uh, a score and assist in eight separate rivals win. So there's a bit of a grind there. Uh, but Sabitzer doesn't look too bad if you need a center mid uh, from Leipzig. I mean, Sabitzer's got a couple special cards this year. So an all round center mid box to box for a free 92 rated card. Uh, you know, it is maybe worth the grind if you're a Bundesliga fan to do the Sabitzer this week. But seriously, I mean, EA in the past, honestly, in the past week and a half, the SBC content and the SBC pricing has been fantastic. Witzel, Saul, I mean, uh, Ansu Fati, even Militao, like the 90 rated Militao, very, very good SBC value in these past few weeks. So GG's to EA on that with those cards right there. Other parts of the market in the move today, right? I talked about out of packs Premier League, out of pack Bundesliga cards yesterday. I said, just kind of give them a watch, see what they could do. A lot of those cards, again today, really didn't move much. Lucas Hernandez this morning was 150K. He's now 140. Um, da Costa was somebody that I was keeping a close eye on. Uh, da Costa, I think, was like 145 to 150 this morning, and he's still basically the same price right now. I don't think a lot of the Bundesliga special cards moved. There were a few of them that did, and this is going to be something that we look for through the rest of the week. This Nico Schultz card was like 90K this morning. He's now 112, so he moved up a decent amount. This Mateus Cunha was 90k. He's now like 110. Um, so again, the, the right back, left back situation. When we look at this team, where are we going to be looking to find some investments later on this next week? I really think because what we do is we look for weak spots in the team, right? We only have one right back. We have one left back. The left back is expensive. The right back, you know, it's probably going to end up being around a 200,000 coin card midweek, which isn't bad. It's really good for links. I'm really focused on the left back. Uh, position and the striker position along with right wing and left wing because we have Kostic doesn't really look really valuable and usable for a lot of people in this game not terrible but not the best and Sancho who's very expensive so I'm going to be looking at a lot of right wing left wing and then left back right back positions and then cheap budget strikers as well in the Bundesliga because we have this Nider Lechner guy doesn't look that good to be honest with you uh, and then we have the three massive Halan, Werner, and Lewandowski. So I think that later on this week, when we start to look at Bundesliga specials again, after the weekend league sell-off with cards that will rise with links this week, I do think we're going to be looking at striker, left wing, right wing, and then the outside back positions as well. Just something to put in your guys' minds as we look throughout the rest of this week. But seriously, out of pack stuff, really, the buy time for a lot of this was midweek. Halan, earlier midweek, he's actually down now. This guy was 850 earlier today. So he's even down from where he was. I want to look at Lewandowski headliner because this guy was 500k midweek and he's now up 100,000 coins. But I, seriously, all this stuff was the cheapest midweek. Even the Bundesliga special cards were cheapest on Wednesday before rewards and they rose today with some of those links. At least that one, the Lewandowski did go up a decent amount because his team this season is a crazy, crazy amount higher in price. But that is what it is. There's one thing I want to be... Uh, I want to tell you guys about today as well uh, with the Saturday market movements. A lot of times, if you're looking to be risky again, if you're looking to play with some of the new team of the season cards, one thing you can do is watch these as we head into the 6 p.m. lightning rounds on Saturday, because a lot of times what happens is these cards get sold off 
uh, headed into 6 p.m., especially if they're very rare. So I would watch a guy like Halan, possibly, a guy like Timo Werner, and a guy like Lewandowski as well. I would look at those, and I would really watch them today as they head into the lighting round period because people will sell those because they think the price is going to drop during lighting rounds. But what actually happens is um, people still want to use that card for weekend league, and the card price actually rebounds up very quickly. The perfect example of this was last week. Two weeks ago with the Prem was Kevin De Bruyne went from 4.3 million on Friday night, Saturday morning. He dropped down all the way to three point. He dropped down to 4 million flat right before lighting rounds and then bounced right back up to 4.3 million uh, like an hour or two on Saturday. Even when lighting rounds were going on, he bounced right back up then because of the amount of people that wanted to buy him back to finish the weekend league. So Lewandowski, Timo Werner, guys from this new team of the season that I would look out for, the rare ones, right? Go do a little bit of research on the market to figure out which ones are rare. Uh, I think Royce actually rebounded back a little bit today. The ones that are hyped up, the guys, the cards that people actually want to use uh, are the ones that I would really look at today if you want to try to mess around with some of that trading. But other than that, I mean, it's the weekend, right? It is Saturday, so you're going to start to see a little bit of weekend league sell-off. Not a ton, but I do expect to see a little bit of the weekend league sell-off happening today on Saturday. There is a Royce for 138. Uh, decent upgrade over his 91, 91 card, but that's something I want you guys to watch out for. Uh, you know, some of that, some of you guys have asked about the club stock situation. Can we club stock now since we're on the weekend? Uh, 88s look low to me. 89s look low. 87s are getting low. Uh, but anything else other than that, 84s are up. 85s are up. 86s are up. And so are 83s. So if you're going to do a club stock on the weekend, I would say focus on the 88 to 89s. If you have not done those already. As we start looking ahead into the week, um, what is the Bundesliga guaranteed SBC going to be looking for like a rating wise? I would say guaranteed Bundesliga SBC probably is going to be 86 or 87 again. Probably just 86. If they made La Liga 87, I feel like Bundesliga should be 86. Um, and then, so that's something we can maybe start to plan for with maybe picking up some fodder on the weekend during landing rounds. But then also... This is the big thing that I want to talk about at the end of this video today. I know a lot of you guys are about this and I'm starting to, myself. I'm starting to not be a huge fan of this Bundesliga rares. At least most of these cards, some of them have reached 1.8, 1.9 K for some of these Bundesliga rares. People are buying these cards up all the way from up to 1.7, 1.8, not 1.8 thousand coins. I'm really not a fan of this now. I'm really not a fan of this because, um, there's so many people that are investing in this. We have guys like Nepenthes, I think A9 Skills, uh, Castro have told their viewers, which they have a huge audience, right? They're telling their people that, hey, you can make tons of coins by just buying these rares. And people in the trading community are starting to do this as well. If you're buying the rare cards to do the upgrade packs, you know, to be honest, I don't think I'm going to buy rares this week. I think that it is very possible this week that instead of the rares actually going up, I think the rares might stay the same, if not go down. Seriously, I think that is a possibility this weekend. We have a Lars Bender at like 1.6, 1.7K, and there's one page of them. Because look, people are just buying these up. People are just snatching these cards up. 1.5K, insta bin, 1.6K. These guys are getting purchased right away as people are trying to stack these. With the, you know, honestly, the lack of hype that the Bundesliga has, not that it has really a lack of hype, but just the amount of players in it that people are really going to want to chase for from upgrade packs this week. I would not be surprised if the rare golds in the Bundesliga literally do not rise at all on Monday when the when the upgrade packs come. So if you're going to be investing in the Bundesliga rares, my advice to you would be try to get some on bid and try to get some at a lower price than what they're going for, like 1617. I said earlier this week that like 1.1 or 1.2K would be kind of like my lowest maybe. Um, but I mean, these cards are just, they're just getting out of hand in my opinion. And so many people are buying them. It's kind of like we talk about 83 rated with the team of the week SBC incoming, right? A lot of people invest in 83s and the over investing really becomes a, an issue that we have to deal with. And then all of a sudden, boom, those 83s actually stay the same or go down in price when everybody lists those cards, when they feel like they should be profiting and then you're not making any profit. So I would say be very careful with the Bundesliga rares. I'm still not a big fan of those this week. I'm not going to buy any rares. I'm going to be doing tons of upgrade packs um, just to see what I can get 
from the Bundesliga. I would love to get a Halan, Sancho, Werner, Lewandowski, Royce, of course. Even like a, a Kimmich would be cool. Oop, Makano, Nabry, Davies would be dope to get some Bundesliga guys in the squad and to try them out. But I honestly think that the rares that are needed for that SBC that will come out on Monday are probably going to stay around the same. Like maybe even not go above 2,000 coins per card as so many people are buying these and so many people are going to start to sell them when they come out. So that's what I'm scared with with those cards. But again, watch for market movements today. If you see some big time panic selling headed into 6 p.m. UK, uh, this Halan card just seriously keeps dropping a bunch. But Lewandowski, if you see him down maybe like 2.7 or 2.8 mil, um, you know, this is a card that a lot of people are willing to pay for. As you can tell, he went from 2.8 to 3.4 and is now back down to 2.8. Wow. All right, so this guy might have to go to like 2.7 tonight if I'm going to mess with him because uh, evidently this guy might not be the best in game or I don't know what's going on here, but... His price is dropping. That's what I would expect to see with a lot of these high tier cards. I think Lewandowski is a bit overpriced still, in my opinion. I do think you'll see more of a sell off on those as the weekend ends and as we head through the weekend league. Good luck if you're playing. I'm going to try to play this weekend. Try out some of the new Tots cards, get my 17 wins. Not press any further than there, man, because this week, if you're really pushing for elite, uh, those elite packs could look pretty ugly. You know, uh, kind of like they did last week, there's a potential for a lot of ugly elite packs with the lower rated cards this week. But Bundesliga is cool. Hopefully we get some more good content throughout the week. And I just wanted to kind of talk to you guys about what went on today with these cards and what you can expect through the rest of today on Saturday. So this has been Nate, the Foot Account. If you enjoyed this video, smash the thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe to the channel if you're new. All right, I'll catch you guys tomorrow. Peace out.